Between the mountains and monasteries of India lies one of the highest hockey rinks in the world and one of the most unlikely places to find our national sport. Our Jazz Johal travels to the Himalayas where hockey is played 11,000 feet above sea level and where the sport is forging a cultural bond. It's known as the roof of the world. This is Leh, located in the Ladakh region of India known as Little Tibet, a place where the daily rhythmic chants of Buddhists in an ancient monastery make time stand still. But if you listen, you'll hear a chant of a different kind. A game of outdoor hockey on a frozen pond. It's Brent Hamilton's first visit to Ladakh. It is one of the most amazing hockey experiences I've ever come across. This is fantastic. I can't believe I'm here. Hockey was introduced here in the 1980s by the Indian Army. Skates were nothing more than army boots with metal bolted onto them. Goalies were wearing cricket pads and playing with field hockey sticks. The Canadian connection began a decade ago when Indian officials applied for a travel visa to Canada. And then we'll do three 15-minute periods, okay? Tony Kretschmar used to live in New Delhi at the time. When they were interviewed, the question was, well, why do you want to go to Canada? And the official said, well, it's to get ice hockey equipment. So these officers thought, well, Indians don't play ice hockey. It's a hot country. That's a scam. When Canadian officials investigated further, they were shocked to find a tiny hockey hotbed in the foothills of the Himalayas. This led Tony and a group of Canadians to lay a year later to play in a tournament. And they've been back every year since then. The Canadians, who call themselves the New Delhi Sacred Bulls. They'll be battling several teams from the region. They've brought along extra equipment to donate. Look at this, eh? Modern technology. We're going to leave them behind and uh, let the Ladakhi uh, teams play with them. The equipment is much needed, since the locals don't have access to specialty sticks, which are in demand as the kids in the high north region develop a love for our national sport. Akshay Kamad is with the Indian Ice Hockey Association. Every village, every town, every school is involved in ice hockey. There are more than 600 players, big and small, in this entire region. So it's growing and flourishing over here. The locals come to expect the excitement and will climb onto buses and even trees to get a vantage point. Even with temperatures hovering near minus 20, it's common to find 2,000 spectators for a big game. Jim Nickel, the Canadian Deputy High Commissioner, made his first trip to Lay. This will be the classic test to see if youth fitness and ability uh, can be defeated by experience uh, of, of the older generations. Even though Chris Harland has been here before, the setting never grows old. It's a wonderful experience, a, a wonderful venue. You have uh, a couple thousand people, some in the trees, crowd cheering, natural ice, under the sun, mountains, monasteries, palaces, absolutely wonderful. As the local clubs pay for the Indian championships, that didn't stop some of the Canadians from teaching the crowd another Western custom, the wave. There's no doubt things are a little different here. The Zambonis here are of the two-legged variety, but just as efficient. And for this pond hockey game, you get your own play-by-play -play man. The rink is nothing more than a frozen reservoir, which sits 11,000 feet above sea level, meaning at such a high altitude, the Canadians have to keep their shifts short. The locals are at the Sonam Paldan plays for the Ladakh hockey team. maximum Our advantage is the ability to play in high altitudes of 11,000 and 12,000 feet. We have the stamina. You know, we're used to uh, lugging gear in our business, but at this uh, elevation, we're about 13,000 feet. You really run out of breath. In fact, the hockey game is played about a thousand feet below where we are and they have to do line changes uh, every uh, 30 seconds or so. So you get a sense of uh, how thin the air is up here. Located near the Pakistan border, political problems are never too far away. The region is still defined by border disputes between India and Pakistan, which have been ongoing since the 1940s. <laughs> Leh is safe from much of the fighting. Its residents are Buddhist and Muslim. During the winter months, there is little for locals to do, particularly kids. Hockey keeps them busy. 
Cynthia Hunt is a Canadian who has lived in the region for over two decades. She spends most of her time working with the young in isolated villages. In many villages there's a youth problem and our Future Leaders program started in hockey to deal with young people who've dropped out of school, feel they can't compete against Lay, which is our capital city kids, and uh, don't get jobs, uh, then can get into trouble, get into drug issues, alcohol. The relationship between Indians and Canadians has slowly grown. Cultural nights for this once a year get together are now always organized. We are hosting the Winter Olympics this year in Vancouver. And uh, it would be great if uh, at some point we can see some of the kids here from Ladakh go to some of the Winter Olympics wherever they may be in the future. And we certainly hope that will happen. A permanent rink in Ley is now being built. It's hoped construction of a new hydroelectric dam nearby will guarantee electricity, which will allow it to be open year round. Last year we selected our national ice hockey team for the first time ever. They went to Abu Dhabi to play in the Asian Challenge Cup, which is the first international tournament, and we also managed to score our first international goal. Great news for Canadians who are helping hockey grow in the land of cricket. Peter Nesbitt has lived in India for eight years. This is his first visit to Leh. I feel very humbled to see them embrace the game of hockey up here. It's great. You feel very proud uh, to be Canadian. In the end, the Canadians win the tournament. More importantly, they've now helped find a home for our national game on the roof of the world. I'm very proud to see how, how it's developed over the years. You know, when we first came here, it was like pond hockey in Canada in the 20s. And to see them now, they got full gear, they're, they're really understanding the game, they're going on international tournaments. It's just like a, I'm like a, like a father who's seen his child grow up for 10 years.